Hello, my name is Chris Rasmussen, and I'm going to be teaching JavaScript to you. And uh, welcome. I am the president of a company called the New Media Group, Incorporated in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, I'd like to welcome you to uh, VTC's uh, JavaScript training CD. Uh, it's nice to have you with us. I'd like to uh, begin by distinguishing JavaScript from Java. And this is a source of a lot of confusion, even for people who actually do really know the difference between the two. Uh, Java is a full-scaled programming language and is completely different from JavaScript. JavaScript, in fact, is more uh, closely or more appropriately known as a scripting language. And it also is somewhat easier to use than Java. Java is a full-fledged uh, programming language and is uh, fraught with uh, all sorts of technicalities, which are actually much more difficult than those which you get into with JavaScript, although JavaScript is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, although, hopefully, after the CD, you'll have a much better time of it than you would uh, on your own. Um, JavaScript and Java have no common root. They weren't both derived from something, although if you look at Java and you look at JavaScript, um, as it's then typed out onto a page, we'll notice that there are some similar constructs between the two languages. Okay, So um, Java primarily is used for the creation of applets or servlets in the web development arena. JavaScript is used for usually smaller and less capable types of functions, which you can assign um, usually relatively easily uh, to your web pages. So don't put on your resume, if you are good in JavaScript, that you actually know Java, because uh, if they hire you based on that, uh, you'll have a pretty tough time of it. 